Let's close our eyes. Let's sit comfortably. Relax the body, relax the breath. Let's keep the body still. So that there is not much movement of the mind. Take a stand as the awareness, as the witness. When you stand back as the awareness, you are aware of the body sitting still. You are aware of the breath moving naturally in and out. Take that stand as the awareness. Notice how the thoughts are arising and falling. Stay as the perceiver of the thoughts. Don't get involved. Now examine the thoughts carefully. The thought arises of its own accord. I do not generate a thought. I do not create a thought. Notice how the thought plays on its own. And notice how it disappears. Neither was its appearance in your hands nor is its disappearance in your control. Recognize that. I do not have control over any thought. Throughout the arising, playing and dissolving of a thought, I only know what's happening. Knowing is the only possibility for me.
Examine another thought. See if you are the designer of the thought or simply its knower. Don't indulge, don't react to the thought. If you react to the thought, it means you're forgetting yourself as the witnessing awareness and you're taking the stand as the mind. Step away from the mind, be a witness. Observe that you are not in control of any thought. I am not the thinker. Now let's examine a feeling or a sensation. Sensations are gross physical arisings and feelings are subtle arisings. Feelings are more mental. Sensations are more physical. Take your attention to any feeling, any sensation that arises. Coolness, warmth in the body, tingling somewhere, numbness somewhere, heaviness in the body. Rumbling in the stomach, pleasant feeling or an unpleasant feeling, whatever it is. Stay as the perceiver of the sensation or feeling. Don't get involved. Examine it carefully from a distance. Feeling or sensation arises of its own accord. I do not generate a sensation or feeling. I cannot create a feeling or sensation. Explore if you can see this within.
the sensation or feeling arises on its own, plays on its own and disappears on its own. I cannot control when a feeling arises. I cannot control how long it stays. And I cannot control and push it away. Throughout the arising, playing and dissolving, I only know what's happening. Knowing is the only possibility for me. Don't get involved in the feeling or sensation. If you get involved or you react to the feeling, it means you're forgetting yourself as the witnessing awareness and you're taking the stand of the mind. Again, step away from the mind and be a witness. Knowing is the only possibility for me. If knowing is the only possibility, then who says I think, I feel? Explore, can you find that I within? Look for the I that says I think or I feel. The I that says I think, I feel is nowhere to be found when you go looking for it. I feel, I think, were simply thoughts again. They are called I thoughts. The arising and disappearing of thoughts and feelings is simply known. They arise in the same field of knowingness that knows them. They play in that field of knowingness and they dissolve there. Knowing is the only possibility for me. Knowing 
is the only possibility. Let's examine actions. Thinking is an action. We have recognized that I am not the thinker. Let's examine a physical action carefully to see if I am the doer of physical actions. Take your memory back to this morning when you were brushing your teeth. You kept moving the brush from the right side of the jaw to the left side of the jaw. From the left side to the right side. Do you recognize that you were not choosing when to move to the right and when to move to the left? It was just happening. Take another example of when you were taking a shower this morning. You kept moving from the right to the left and left to the right under the falling water. Do you recognize that you were not choosing when to move to the right, when to move to the left? It was just happening. Remember all actions since morning, any action. Were you involved in actually doing them or were they just happening through this body-mind? Suppose you were typing an email. Your fingers kept moving on the keyboard as if the fingers automatically knew where which alphabet was. Do you recognize that you were not even choosing the alphabets? It was just happening. You're simply knowing every action that is happening. You can only know. There is no other possibility other than knowing. For you. Just like you are not thinking, thoughts are happening. Similarly, you're not choosing an action. The actions are happening. You only know what is happening. You only know the thoughts that are arising. Knowing is the only possibility. There is no action that I do. I only know the happening of an action. I am not the doer. Let's examine experiencership of pleasantness and unpleasantness. So far we have understood I am not the doer. Means I do not generate thoughts. I am not thinking. I do not create feelings. 
I cannot create sensations. Am I experiencing that feeling or that sensation? Let's look at this. While showering, the warm water was falling on your skin. You were feeling pleasant. Take your memory back to that pleasantness. The pleasantness of the warm water. Who was experiencing the pleasantness? Suppose the warm water suddenly became cold. Some glitch in the plumbing. And the pleasant sensation automatically turned to unpleasantness of cold water. Who was experiencing the unpleasantness? Warm water was falling on the skin. Pleasant sensation was arising automatically. I did not generate the sensation. The sensation that arose did not even come with a label called pleasant. There was simply a thought that arose automatically after the warm water touched the skin. The thought was, I like this. Next thought automatically arose which said, this is pleasant. The label of pleasantness arose automatically. It was a thought. I did not generate it. Immediately after that, there was a thought, I want more of this. This thought is nothing but a craving thought. A craving for more pleasantness. It also arose automatically. I did not generate that thought. After you came out of the shower, you're feeling so good. There was a thought, I always want to take a warm water shower. And nothing else will do. This is nothing but another thought. A clinging thought. I do not generate any thought. Not the pleasant thought. Not the craving thought. Not the clinging thought. Not the thought that labels. And I did not even generate the sensation called pleasant. In this entire process, I was not involved. It was an automatic happening. Even the so-called I that says I like it, I crave for it, is nowhere to be found. The arising and disappearing of the pleasant thought is simply known by me. The arising and disappearing of the craving thought is simply known. The arising and disappearing of the clinging thought is simply known.
they arise and they fall in the same field of knowingness. Knowing is the only possibility. So just like there is no possibility of doership, there is no possibility of experiencership either. I am not the experiencer of the pleasantness. I simply know that there is pleasantness. There's a difference between being the knower and the experiencer. Experiencer in Sanskrit is bhokta. Knower is Gyata. The experiencer moves up and down with the pleasantness and unpleasantness. This graph moves up and down with excitement and depression. The knower simply knows what's happening and remains untouched. Knower is like the witness that is not involved. I, the field of knowingness, the field of nothingness and devoid of pleasantness and unpleasantness. I am unaffected by pleasantness and unpleasantness. I simply know. I do not experience. मैं केवल ज्ञाता हूं न मैं भोगता न मैं करता केवल ज्ञाता आई एम द नोअर आई एम नॉट द एक्सपीरियंसर आई एम नॉट द डूअर आई एम सिंपली द नोअर Similarly, when unpleasantness arises, the unpleasant thought is simply a thought that has arisen of its own accord. The thought says, I do not like this. It is not something that I generate. The unpleasant sensation arises of its own accord. It is not something that I generate. I do not want more of this. This is an aversion thought. It arises automatically. I do not generate it. I never ever want this come what me is a resistance thought. Resistance arises automatically. I do not generate it.
recognize that whenever there was pain or misery in your life, you were actually not involved. The entire experience of cold water seeming unpleasant, the development of aversion for it, all the way up to resistance, is an automatic happening. I am not involved. I that says I dislike it, I'm averse to it, I never want this to ever be there in my life again. That same I when looked for is nowhere to be found. Arising and disappearing of the unpleasant thought is simply known. The arising and disappearing of the aversion thought is simply known. The arising and disappearing of the resistance thought is also simply known. Arising and falling of that unpleasant sensation or the pain or discomfort or sadness, misery, guilt, hatred, anger. The sensation or feeling is simply known. Rise and fall in the same field of knowingness that knows them. Knowing is the only possibility. I simply know, I do not experience. There's a subtle difference between the two. Just like there is no possibility of doership, similarly, there is no possibility of experiencership either. I am not the experiencer of that misery, of that pain, of that discomfort, hatred, anger, guilt, sorrow. I am the field of knowingness that is devoid of the pleasant and the unpleasant. मैं केवल ज्ञाता न मैं भोगता न मैं करता I'm only the knower I am not the doer I am not the experiencer I'm 